You're watching the video sermon podcast of First Baptist Church in Marble Falls, Texas. For almost 130 years, FBCMF has served the Marble Falls and the Greater Highland Lakes area faithfully through children's programs, youth activities, and adult discipleship. We invite you to join us each and every Sunday at 9 and 1030 a.m. for deep fellowship, rich worship, and a spirit-filled message. For those who find themselves unable to attend on a Sunday morning, we stream those services. Simply visit fbcmf.org forward slash live during either of our service times to view it. Those sermons are then archived on YouTube for on-demand viewing and sharing. Never miss an archived sermon or video posted to our YouTube channel by subscribing to it at youtube.com slash fbcmf2. For more information about our church and to hear an audio-only version of this sermon, please visit us online at fbcmf.org. Now, when he saw the crowds, he went up on the mountainside and he sat down. And the disciples came to him, and he began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are the, those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And blessed are you when people insult you and persecute you and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. Well, you, you are the salt of the earth. But if the salt loses its saltiness, how can it be made salty again? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled by men. You are the light of the world. A city on a hill cannot be hidden, and neither do people light a lamp and hide it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand, and it gives light to everyone in the house. And in the same way, let your light shine before men that they may see your good deeds and praise your Father who is in heaven. Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have not come to abolish them, but to fulfill them. I tell you the truth, until heaven and earth disappear, not the smallest letter, not the least stroke of a pen will by any means disappear from the law until everything is accomplished. And anyone who breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do the same will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever practices and teaches these commands will be called great in the kingdom of heaven. I tell you, unless your righteousness surpasses that of the Pharisees and teachers of the law, you will certainly not even enter into the kingdom of heaven. You have heard it was said to the people long ago, do not murder or you will be judged. But I tell you, but I tell you that anyone who is angry with his brother will be judged. Again, if anyone says to his brother an insult saying, raka, which means empty head, is answerable to the Sanhedrin. But whoever says, you fool, will be in danger of the fire of hell. And therefore, if you are offering your gift here at the altar, and when you're there, remember that your brother has something against you, leave your gift there in front of the altar, and first go and be reconciled to your brother, and then come and offer your gift. 
and settle matters quickly with your adversary who is taking you to court. Do it while you are still with him on the way, or else he may hand you over to the judge, and the judge will hand you over to the officer, and you will be thrown into prison. I tell you the truth. You will not get out until you have paid the last penny. You have heard it was said, do not commit adultery. But I tell you that anyone who has looked on a woman lustfully has already committed adultery with her in his heart. If your right eye causes you to sin, gouge it out and throw it away. It's better to lose one part of your body than for your whole body to go into hell. If your right hand causes you to sin, cut it off, throw it away. It's better to lose one part of your body than for your whole body to go into hell. It has been said that anyone who wishes to divorce his wife, just give her a certificate of divorce. But I tell you that anyone who divorces his wife except for marital unfaithfulness causes her to become an adulteress. And anyone who marries the divorced woman commits adultery. Again, you have heard it was said to the people long ago, do not break your oath, but keep the oaths you have made. But I tell you, do not swear at all either by heaven, for it is God's throne, or by the earth, for it is his footstool, or even by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king. And do not swear even by your own head, for you cannot make one hair white or black. Simply let your yes be yes, and your no, no. And anything beyond this comes from the evil one. You have heard it was said Eye for eye and and tooth for tooth. But I tell you, do not resist an evil person. If someone strikes you on the right cheek, turn to him the other also. If someone wants to sue you and take your tunic... Give to him your cloak as well. If someone forces you to go with him one mile, go with him two miles. Give to the one who asks of you. And do not turn away from the one who wants to borrow from you. You have heard it was said, love your neighbor, but hate your enemy. But I tell you, love your enemy. And pray for those who persecute you, that you may be sons of your Father in heaven. He he causes the sun to rise on the evil and the good and sends rain on the righteous and the unrighteous. If If you love those who love you, what reward will you get? Are not even tax collectors doing that? Well, if you if you greet only your brothers. What are you doing more than anybody else? Do not even pagans do that? Be perfect, therefore, as as your heavenly Father is perfect. And, And be careful not to do your acts of righteousness in front of men to be seen by them. I tell you the truth, they have received their reward in full. So when you give to the needy, do not announce it with trumpets as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and and on the, the streets to be honored by men. I tell you the truth, they have received their reward in full. But when you give to the needy, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing so that your giving may be done in secret. And then your father who sees what is done in secret, he'll reward you. And when you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and and on the streets to be seen by men. I tell you the truth, they have received their reward in full. But when you pray, go into your closet and close the door and pray to your Father who is unseen. 
And then your father, who sees what is done in, in secret, he, he will reward you. And when you pray, ah, do not keep on babbling like pagans. For they think that they're going to be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them, for your heavenly Father already knows what you need before you ask him. This, then, is how you should pray. Would, would, you, would you pray with me? Would you bow your heads? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Amen. For if you, see, if you will forgive men when they sin against you, Your heavenly Father will forgive you. But, listen, if you do not forgive men their sins, your heavenly Father will not forgive you your sins. Now, when you fast, when you fast, do not look somber as the hypocrites do, for they disfigure their faces to show everybody that they're fasting. Do not be like them. I tell you the truth, they have received their reward in full. But when you fast, put oil on your head and wash your face so that it will not be obvious to men you are fasting, but to your Father who is unseen. And then your Father who sees what is done in secret, he will reward you. Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth where moth and rust destroy and where thieves break in and steal. But store up for yourselves treasures in heaven where moth and rust do not destroy and where thieves cannot break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. The the eye is the lamp of the body. If your eyes are good, your whole body will be full of light. But if your eyes are bad, your whole body will be full of darkness. If then the light in you is, is darkness, how great is that darkness? Because nobody, nobody can serve two masters. Either he will hate the one and love the other, or he will be devoted to the one and despise the other. And that's why you cannot serve both God and money. And therefore, I tell you, do not worry about your life and what you will eat and what you will drink or about your body and what you will wear. Is not life more important than food and the body more important? important than clothes look at the birds of the air they do not sow or reap or store away in barns and yet your heavenly father feeds all of them are you not much more valuable than they well who of you by worrying can add one single hour to your life and why do you worry about clothes Oh, see how the lilies of the field grow? They do not labor or spin, and yet I tell you that not even Solomon in all of his splendor was dressed like one of these. If that is how God clothes the grass of the field, which is here today and tomorrow is thrown into the fire, will he not much more clothe you? Oh, you of little faith. So do not worry, saying, what shall we eat, and what shall we drink, and what shall we wear? For the pagans run after those things. And your heavenly Father already knows that you need them. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness. And then all of these other things will be added unto you as well. And therefore, I tell you, do not worry about tomorrow. For tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. 
Oh. And do not judge. Do not judge. Or you too will be judged. And with the measure that you use, that will be measured to you. And in the same way you judge others, you will be judged. Why do you look at the speck of sawdust in your brother's eye and pay no attention to the plank in your own eye? How, how can you say to your brother, here, let me take the speck out of your eye when all the while there is this plank in your own eye? You, you hypocrite. First, take the plank out of your eye and then, then you will see clearly to remove the speck from your brother's eye. Do not give dogs what is sacred. Do not throw your pearls to pigs or else they may trample them under their feet and then turn and tear you to pieces. But ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened unto you. For everyone who asks receives, and he who seeks finds. And to him who knocks, the door will be opened unto you. But which of you, if your son asks for bread, would give him a stone? Or if he asks for fish, would give him a snake. Well, if you then, though, though you're evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your heavenly Father give great gifts to those who trust him? So in everything, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. For this sums up the law and the prophets. Now enter through the narrow gate. For wide is the gate and broad is the road that leads to destruction. And many people are entering through it. But small is the road and narrow the gate that leads to life. And only a few people find it. And watch out for false prophets. They come to you in, in sheep's clothing. But inwardly they are ferocious wolves. By their fruit you will recognize them. Do people pick grapes from thorn bushes or figs from thistles? Well, likewise, every good tree bears good fruit and every bad tree bears bad fruit. A good tree cannot bear bad fruit and a bad tree cannot bear good fruit. And every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. And thus, by their fruit, you will recognize them. Now listen. Not everybody, not everybody who cries out to me, Lord, Lord, will enter into the kingdom of heaven. But only he who does the will of my Father, only he who does the will of my Father. And on that day, Many, many people will say to me, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name and, and in your name cast out demons and perform many miracles? And I'll tell them very plainly, I never knew you. Depart from me, you evil doer. Everyone who hears these words of mine and puts it into practice is like a wise, wise man who built his house on a rock. And the rains came down and the streams rose and the winds blew and beat against the house, but it did not fall because it had its foundation on the rock. But everyone who hears these words of mine and does not put them into practice is like a foolish man who built his house on sand. And the rains came down and the streams rose and the winds blew and beat against the house and it fell with a great crash. When Jesus had finished saying all of these words, 
the crowds were amazed at his teaching because Jesus taught as one who has authority and not as their teachers of the law or preachers. You've been watching the video sermon podcast of First Baptist Church of Marble Falls, Texas. Never miss an archived sermon or video posted to our YouTube channel by subscribing to it at youtube.com slash fbcmf2. For more information about our church and to hear an audio-only version of this sermon, please visit us online at fbcmf.org.